Well, hey, family, how are y'all doing this evening? I am Eve with the baby's booty, and I'm running a smidge behind tonight, but that's okay. We're live now. It's been a whirlwind type of weekend, and I'm excited to see what you guys have been up to lately. So here at the baby's booty, we do a lot of different crafting. Okay, so if you're new here, go ahead and drop in the chat that you're new we want to welcome you and greet you warmly. Um, we do rhinestones. We do DTF from time to time. Kind of backed away from that a little bit. Cricket crafts, silhouette crafts. We also do embroidery. Um, we're now doing the X tool with the laser. There's a lot going on around here. So please stick around. I'm sure you'll find a craft that you would like to watch and craft along with us. And we would love to have you. We do have a Facebook group. It's the Hoop Group on Facebook. So when you go on to Facebook, just type in the baby's booty and you will come across our group. And if you're there, please feel free to share the crafts that you've been working on lately in your studios. And we would love to see them. All right. So one of the things I love to do at the beginning of our show is say hello to the wonderful folks who come in and take the time out of their busy schedules to hang out with us. And that could be you. I mean, you're here, right? And I appreciate it. So I definitely want to say hi. So if you would like for me to say hi, go ahead and speak up in the chat. And I'll try my best to make sure we get to everyone. But the first one in the house tonight was making with Marilyn. Hey, Marilyn. <laughs> How are you? Welcome. I am so glad you got your template worked out. As you see, I had template craziness tonight, so I appreciate it. EJ's daughter. Hello, my dear. Welcome. Both you and Marilyn are YouTube Hoop Group members, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Then we got Dimps Designs. Hey, Dimps. How are you, honey? Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Did they let my people go? I would love to know. <laughs> because you were working earlier. Diana Henderson and Gina Goins, hello to the both of you. Then we have So Crafty. Hello, my dear. Welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate it. Beverly Smith is also a YouTube Hoop Group member. Thank you. Welcome. Hey, Angel B, honey. Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. I really appreciate it. Always a pleasure to have you in here with us. Bonita Neely. Hey, honey. Welcome. Thank you for joining us as well. Then we got Patrice. <laughs> craftable things in the house. Hey, honey, welcome. Y'all, she came and crafted with me last week. That was fun. So if you would like to see Patrice and what we had up our sleeves last week, go ahead and check out last week's live. It was a blast. It was cool to have a guest on with me. I'm definitely going to have to do that again. That was fun. Then we have Lena Doyle Crafting. Hey, honey, welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening and for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Then we got Nicole Reeves. Hello, welcome, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We got Samantha Taylor. Hello, Kingsbury Crafts. Hello, Tanyu is in the house. Hey, honey, welcome, Tanyu, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate you. Pamela Bradley White. Hey, welcome, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. That's the quilting queen in the house. <laughs> we got Patrice Williams, Victorious Creations, and Cheryl H. Thank you three for joining us this evening. Willie Roseman, hello. Jennifer Vincent, hello, welcome. Yvonne Hudson from California. Thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. We got T Creates and Baby Giant Services, LLC. Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Anita Omer. Hey, honey. Welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Always a pleasure. Ray Williams. Always a pleasure. Thank you for having you here and for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Then we got Sharon Davenport. Hello. She says, hello, E, Mr. McClackens and all in the chat. Hit the thumbs up button, please, while we are waiting. So thank you for reminding them of that. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. We've got EJ's daughter here as well. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Terry Pelham, you're Terry from Bonnie Lake, Washington. Welcome from Bonnie Lake. And thank you for joining us and for letting us know that you're here with us. I haven't seen your name before, so welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. We have Miss Leela Nelson. Hey, honey, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate it. Angela Marie. Welcome. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. Alveda, Alveda or Alveda Mitchell. Not sure which one. Correct me. But thank you for joining us 
this evening from the ATL. You're a neighbor. So howdy, neighbor. How are you? Because, <laughs> you know, we're in North Carolina. Shirley Dabney says, good evening. Thank you for your rhinestones. They arrived. Well, thank you for letting me know. I am so happy to hear that you got your package safe and sound. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. Valerie E is also a YouTube Hoop Group member. Welcome. And thank you very much for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Then we have Patricia Johnson and Shonda Coleman. It was great seeing you work with Katrina today. So cool. <laughs> That was pretty cool. I felt so bad, y'all. I had to go over there. So that was spur of the moment type thing. Jesse Gibson as well. Hello to the three of you. Thank you for joining us. Miss Barbara Bonaparte. Hey, honey. Welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Latoya Williams. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> D. Smith. Welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. Hey, Sheila Cushionberry. <laughs> Welcome, my dear. Always a pleasure. Then we got T. Johnson. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. And Cassie Chapman. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. Love having you here. Miss Jacqueline Smith. Hello. Mary Brown. Hello. And thank you, Mary Brown, for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate it. Then we have Sewing Sis 56 Alexander. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. And we have Kitty and Doggy. Hey, Kitty and Doggy, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Calatrish B, thank you for joining us. Josette, your low, welcome. Thank you for joining us. And Darren, welcome. Thank you for joining us. We have Victorious Creations. Love it. Welcome. Then we have Tamika Cole. Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Simone Langley, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate it. And Katrina's Graceful Creations. <laughs> The hostess with the mostest. I absolutely had a ball at her spot. Welcome. I hope I didn't make you miss too much of your TV show. <laughs> that was, she was like, oh no, I'm missing my show. I was like, what show? <laughs> I love it. That's awesome stuff. And tell Caden, I said, thank you for being a good host as well. And then Marianne, welcome. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We also have Ms. Bickham. Hey, honey, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Um, she said still there until 10. <sighs> That's not fair. Tell them, let my people go. <laughs> Marsha Donahue. Hey, honey, welcome. Thank you for joining us. And we have fabulous is 32. How are you? And how is honey? Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Hey, Andrea T. Welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop group member as well. Then we have Miss Viola Floyd. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop group member. Tracy Murray is here. Chris Smith Calabo is here. And she's also a YouTube Hoop group member. Miss Parker. Hello. Cheryl H. Hello. Let's see. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I am so excited to see so many people here that we see on the regular. It's awesome sauce. I really appreciate it. We got Gail Moore, Chris Moyle. Welcome. Yes, I did have a great break. Very, she said, oh, she, Miss E, right on time. I need to avoid adulting for the rest of the night. <laughs> well, Quilting Sister hopefully will help fulfill that. Now, I will definitely let you guys know, I really didn't have anything um, planned for tonight. Your girl has been sick all weekend. Um, today was the first day I started feeling a little bit better. So, um, I've been on Dramamine all week. <laughs> I've been on Dramamine. You think I've been on a cruise or something, but I had vertigo pretty bad. It kicked in wee hours. No, it was 11 o'clock in the morning. It kicked in. And when I tell y'all, I was sick as a dog. So went to the doctor to try to get that fixed. They couldn't fix it. So it was not like last time I went, the guy was like, okay, do this, turn here, turn there, do this, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, whoa, that's what's up. That was cool. You know, so I went this time and the lady was like, okay, do this, turn here, go there, do the, 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 And I was like, I'm still dizzy. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, your eyes are still moving because they put this thingy on you that looks almost like the thingy that I was showing y'all on Amazon that massages your eyes. And she was like, put this on and they could see my eyes on the camera. She actually showed me the video after it was pretty cool. Um, and I was like, oh, she got some pretty eyes talking about myself. But anyway, um, so she was like, put this on and she showed me the way my eyes were doing. And it was pretty neat to see it. And um, but it was still she could still tell that I was sick. 
And so she did the whole thing again, the whole maneuver, but she did it slower this time. And it's still, I was still sick afterwards. So I have an appointment tomorrow. So we'll see if it works. But if y'all feel like seeing something in particular tonight, let me know which one I can, I'm down for laser. I'm down for bling, even though y'all probably, Marilyn was bling another day. Patrice was bling another day. Katrina bling in the day. <laughs> I know y'all probably like up to here with blinging. So we don't have to bling, but um, I'll even break out some embroidery. Uh, we'll just have to figure out what we were, what we would do. So, um, oh no, Sharon Davenport, I hope you get that too fix. That's crazy. Hey, Eastu. Hey, Kirsten Smith. Welcome. Hey, Patrina. Welcome. Um, so yeah, it's been uh, a lot of fun. And then tonight, hey, Dorothy Gaston. Hey, Alveta Mitchell. Hey, Debbie D. Welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Then we got B Dazzling Designs. Welcome. And Elizabeth Guadalupe. Welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. So it was cool to see uh, Patrina, um, Katrina and Patrice was live tonight doing bling. And y'all, I was so embarrassed because I sent Patrina. I, Katrina, I'm trying to mix her and Patrice's name together. But I wanted her to not have any issues when she got her rhinestones because she ordered some stones. And I didn't want her to have to struggle with cutting out a template. So I sent a template to her. And um, y'all, I sent the outsides of the template because it was a two-part template and I just said the outside part. I was like, oh my God. I am not about to let this woman's life be ruined. So I was like, honey, I gotta go. Cause he was laughing at first when earlier when they went on together. I said, Oh look, Patrice and Katrina together. And he was like, You gonna go over there? You ought to go over there. I was like, I ain't talk to her. She don't know that I even could come if I wanted to and she didn't invite me so I'm not about to invite myself but then when I saw that I was like ah oh, nah fam I gotta go fix this <laughs> so he got in the car we got in the car and he drove me over there so that was awesome sauce so I was really really happy to help somewhat even though it didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to but I had a good time. It was it was awesome blinging in person. So that was cool. So if you guys did not get to see that please go check out Katrina's graceful creations check out her channel go subscribe and watch her blinging away she did a great job i'm very proud of her she did good so uh we just got to get a template that has all the pieces to it <laughs> i was so upset y'all but anyway andrea t says she got her stones guys honey she's waiting on her new printer her cat oh no cat got sick on the cannon oh no yeah no that's time for a new printer <laughs> The poor kitty cat. Kitty cat was like, mm, this is a good spot. Bye. That's horrible. Oh, I hope him feel better. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Eric Kina's workshop. Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Y'all, Mr. McQuackens has joined us. He is in the bushes watching. So, yes. Miss Barbara Bonaparte. Yeah, because on StreamYard, it doesn't show me that stuff. So, I needed him. So, thank you for putting that up for me, honey. And thank you, Miss Barbara Bonaparte. Holla! Yes. <laughs> thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Hey, Roslyn. How are you? Welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. And Tammy Singleton, welcome. Miss Lady D, welcome. Um, Miss 143, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. And yes, I did have fun over there on Katrina's um channel oh make what maryland don't <laughs> don't do me like that that's funny um it was a trip though i i seriously i was like wow yeah that's cute even the ladies like oh you got lashes i'm like you can't see them because these glasses but anyway um uh, raw creations hello latoya williams i don't know what we're doing today what do you want to do today we're gonna make it happen what do y'all want to see miss lady d congratulations on your genomi mc 500 e holla yes honey Yes, <laughs> that's what's up. Congratulations. We got to get some embroidery stuff going so that you can embroider with us. Yeah, no, I was embarrassed. Hey, Merlinda Lacey, welcome. Thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. And I kid you not, if more people were close by, y'all probably see me almost because I try to help out as much as I possibly can. I know my husband would be like, oh my God, but it, it is what it is. 
Hey, crafty Puerto Rican honey. Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Um, let's see what else we got. I'm scrolling down. I want to make sure I don't miss anyone else. Hey, Creations by Kaisha. Y'all check her out. She's got waist beads. Y'all looking real cute over there. So thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Who Group member. I appreciate it. T Nice says, hey, Eve, I saw you on live at Katrina's house. All three of y'all were awesome. I love it. Y'all ladies had me smiling and laughing a lot. Yeah, we cut up. <laughs> we cut up a lot. We actually cut up when we went to uh, North Dakota this past summer. And it was fun. I thoroughly had a good, good time uh, meeting because that was my first time meeting Katrina, which actually is just crazy because we live in the same because she's in Charlotte. I'm right here at Charlotte. Um, matter of fact, I used to live in Charlotte. I just moved two years ago to the outskirts. Um, but it was fun meeting her, meeting Do Dream On. She's awesome. Um, we also had uh, A Dub was up there, met him in person. Had a, I just had a ball up there, y'all. It was a lot of fun. T shirt, um, help desk, and then um, stand banks. And it was a lot of folks up there. It was really good to hang out. And have a good time. Willie Roseman, congratulations on your TV. H TV. <laughs> congratulations. Yas, honey. Yas. A lot of people got that right press. If you got that right press, put a, a thumbs up in the chat. I need everybody to see that. So, but yeah, we do cut up. Oh, no. Yikes. I hope everybody recovers, Miss Bickham. That's crazy. That COVID is... I'm hearing it surging and it's making a horrible uh, comeback, but I, I'm trying not to catch none of that. Did you get some of the ribs? I can smell them through the line. <laughs> no, Simone, I am not a uh, pork rib eater anymore. I used to could, but I can't anymore. It, it gives me a horrible migraine, so I can't do it anymore. Um, Sherelle Green, good evening. I received my HTV run. I told Press last weekend and my rhinestones from last night, just in time to make my new year's shirt. I bet it was super cute. Congratulations! Holler! <laughs> I'm glad you got your pretty stones. What was your favorite color out of all of your stones that you got? Hey, Spyrox 346, welcome. Thank you for joining us. That's what's up. So, yeah, I don't have um. Sheila Cushionberry asking, it's, it's, so the vertigo is gone, but there's like a feeling that if I move too much or whatever, it's like, put it this way, the way my, the way I'm picturing my vertigo is like, oh, you thought we was through, it's okay, I'm gonna chill back here in the cut, but I got you, you act up. That's pretty much how I feel the vertigo is doing. So like, as long as I don't do too much moving and whatnot, like, crazy stuff i think i'll be okay but i thought that once before and went to turn over in the bed and then started spinning i cannot stand it but anyway so it's just you know i'll have to see because they fixed it last time but didn't fix it this time so but i'm not mad i still appreciate them i went to a physical therapist and um they have maneuvers and whatnot. But she did tell me the last time she, when I was there Friday, she was like, you know, there's other things they can do in addition to what they did to me this last time. So I don't know. We'll see what they decide to do. Hey, Sherelle, she said, Autumn Dorado, that Autumn Dorado is pretty. Oh, Miss Barbara Bonaparte got her HTV press. Congratulations with your HTV run over there. Holla. Yes. That's what's up. Yay! Uh, ACV Runt is awesome. Um, laser cutting would be cool. Laser cutting is... Did y'all see what I laser cut the last time? I had fun with Patrice. That's what we did. Me and Patrice was doing the laser. I couldn't remember. I was sitting here like, what did we do? Because I don't think we did bling, but we made this. I made this one. Anyways. Warm winter wishes. So this turned out super duper cute. I stained the wood. I cut out the mittens and the words and the snowflakes and it turned out really good actually and I was supposed to have given this to the recipient and I haven't done that yet um, but they don't know so no harm no foul <laughs> they gonna get it right at spring and be like uh, uh and I'll be like my bad I don't get out much so I pretty much stay home all righty you guys so 
Um, Shonda Coleman, HTV Ron Heat Press just took it out of the box this week. Holler, yes, honey, yes. <laughs> Holler, yes. Miss Parker says I have it also and have actually fallen out of the bed to the floor. It makes you feel like you've fallen off a mountain, man. All I know is. I am too old for all this spinning now. When I was younger on the merry-go-round and all that jazz, yeah, it was great. Not anymore. I cannot. D. Smith got her SS6 stones on yesterday. They are gorgeous. And SS6 is all right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The SS6s are nice. They're very pretty. And that's Patrice's favorite. So, yeah, if you guys haven't tried the SS6 stones, they're awesome sauce. It's just they're so small. You have to be careful when using them. So, all right, you guys, let me think of something for us to do because I don't, I can put the embroidery machine. It's right there. We could do something with embroidery, but actually no, because this Wednesday, if you are a member on, um, now I'm talking about like here on YouTube, a YouTube who group member or on Patrice's live, if you're a member on her channel, her YouTube channel as well, there's going to be a live embroidery along. And it's Wednesday. And I was, one of my to-do lists today was to put together the supply list. And I still need to do that and email it to her. But we're going to make um, chip zipper pouches, okay? So the chip zipper pouches are all done completely in the embroidery hoop. You don't have to sew anything on a separate embroidery, um, separate sewing machine or anything like that. It's all done on the machine. So if you have a four by four embroidery machine, five by seven, bigger, multi-needle, single needle, doesn't matter. You can do this project. So um, definitely check us out. Went to sleep last week and didn't get to send anything. Headed to bed now. 4 a.m. We'll be here before. Yes, honey. Have a good night, Sharon Davenport. Thank you. <laughs> we get to ring you to sleep. <laughs> Enjoy your rest, my dear. Because after this show, I'm going to be right behind you. I promise. Because that dream means don't play. It came to play no games. Um, but yeah, it's a zipper pouch. It's fully lined. So you can't see the inside of the chip bag. So it's super fun. And, and this is a legitimate um, bag that the Chex Mix came in. And uh, you can do Chex Mix. Um, I used to have one. I think it was a blow pop bag. You can do blow pops. You can do M&Ms. You can do any of these bags. Um, now, the little, they used to be 27 cents, 25 cent bags of chips. I don't know how much they are now. They probably... 50 or a dollar by now but the little bags i think are a little bit too small so just get one that's more like a medium-ish size bag like what you would get from the convenience store and uh or bigger okay so i know you can use chips ahoy um that the cookies come in you know with the plastic tray on the inside by the time you just take the tray out you can use that but at any rate so real quick the only thing you need to do the project other than your embroidery machine, your thread and the hoop and the design, you need um, a zipper and it needs to be a plastic zipper, just like this one where it's uh, the teeth are plastic. Don't do a metal teeth zipper and it needs to be the kind, not a hidden zipper. So I don't have one of those right here with me. But for those who sew, the hidden zipper you can buy and you don't see the teeth on the front side. The teeth are actually on the back side. That's not the kind we want for these type pouches. So you don't want a hidden zipper. You want a full zipper. Um, it can be nine inches. It, it probably could be smaller, but I don't want you to run out of space with your zipper because we'll actually cut the zipper down to size. So like a nine inch zipper, seven to nine inches. And then if you want to, like, here's a little ribbon on the side. It would need to be like a grow, grow grain river, grow, <laughs> grow gain ribbon um, and a latch of some sort. And for the most, oh, and fabric for the inside. 
So you'll need a um, piece of some coordinating quilters cotton is simple enough. Nothing, nothing heavier than that because you're going to have to turn this thing inside out. So some light quilters cotton um, and fusible vinyl. Fusible vinyl. And what fusible vinyl is, is just, you know how... Um, most of y'all are mature. So back in the day when we were younger and grandma used to have her couches covered with the clear plastic vinyl, or even now, sometimes people use the clear plastic vinyl in crafting kits. Okay. Well, there's clear plastic vinyl, but then there's also fusible vinyl. The fusible vinyl is a little bit thinner of a vinyl, but you can press it to apply it with heat to anything to fabric to the chip bags it's clear um and that's how we actually make the fabric we fuse the vinyl onto the chip bag and kind of turn it into fabric okay so that's all you need you need um again a zipper you'll need um if if you want the hook on the side you need to get you a clasp hook you need an inch of ribbon you need, well, a little bit bigger ribbon. This is a half inch, um, but some ribbon. You'll need um, your fusible vinyl. You'll need a chip bag or candy bag. And then fabric for the inside for the lining. They do have a version without lining. Um, so I don't know which one me and Patrice are going to do, but I prefer the one with the lining because it looks cleaner when you're done. So, but that's it. Easy peasy mac and cheesy, it really is. And so the whole project should take about maybe about an hour, only because I'm sure there's going to be questions and we'll be going along with each other. Um, but yeah, absolutely easy project to do. Ray Williams, congratulations. I'm glad you got your stones. Yay, that is awesome. Hey, Karen D. No worries. Hey, Jennifer Vincent. Yeah, I'm excited about the, the chip bag. These are fun, actually. I do love doing them. Andrea Ross, thank you very much for the super chat. Holler. <laughs> Yay, thank you. We really, really appreciate the support of the channel tonight, you guys. Thank you very, very much. Um, I've done one on a sewing, sewing machine before, but would love to see this in the hoop. Yes, it is easy to do. Very easy, actually. Hi, Daphne Mitchell. Welcome. Um, zipper, iron on vinyl. Yes. Hey, Sonia Perez. Welcome. Thank you for joining us from Woodbridge, Virginia. Okay. Let me make sure. I swear the HTV Runt Press is half rabbit the way it's multiplying out there. They love it. They love that HTV Runt Press. And it is actually pretty cool because, you know, it goes up and down and all that jazz by itself. And it's perfect for shirts. But for the bigger things, you know, you may have to do something a little bit bigger. Laura E., I received a Cricut Air 2, which I'm thinking of giving it to your daughter because I have the Cricut Air 2 already and a Cricut Mater. Well, we're going to ring the bell for the one that you got. Holla! <laughs> yes. So, yes. And if you do gift it, that's awesome. She can definitely um, reach out and hang out with all of us and learn some cool things that she can do with it. Funny thing is about the cricket, there's so many things that you can do that you just there's a whole list of stuff that you can do from paper crafting to making cards to um doing all the stuff that we do with the cricket. There's it's just so many things. And so um it's a very versatile tool. Most of the cutters are, and I definitely suggest that if you got somebody crafty that you know, you know, steer them towards either one of the cutting machines would work um paula d got her rhinestones just in time for her birthday on tuesday they are adorable thank you to you and mr mcquackens well you're welcome paula d and i'm excited to see um the pretty designs that you do with your stones i would love to see it chris smith where does the chip bag in the hoop design come from uh, we are actually, Patrice and I have been talking about creating the file ourselves because the cool thing about the chip bag is it doesn't matter. You can get any in the hoop bag and you can make it as long as your chip bag fabric or your candy bag fabric is big enough. 
to cut out to make the main pieces of fabric for the bag. Any bag design will work. You just have to, you know, have enough fabric with your chip bag to make it. So all any bag doesn't matter. You can turn it into a chip bag. So it's actually really cool. Can undo that with a regular sewing machine. Can undo that with a regular sewing machine. Um, can undo, can you do that with a regular sewing machine? Um, I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can. Anything that you can do in the hoop with an embroidery machine, you can do on a sewing machine. So keep an eye out in my community tab and Patrice's community tab for the date and how to get in the link to get into the Zoom. Um, because like I said, it's going to be Wednesday, um, nine times out of 10 after she gets off from work. So it'll be Wednesday evening and we'll make a chip bag, but it'll be on Zoom. So it's only for members. So you have to have access to the community tab um, and be a member on either one of our channels to get in. So um, hi, Twyla. How are you? Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I bling my first hat with my new hat press and it came out beautifully. Holler. <laughs> That's what's up. Congratulations, ma'am. The hats do turn out really nice. Where did you purchase the vinyl from? You can get it from Walmart. Um, well, if you have a crafting section in Walmart, let me preface that because I keep forgetting that Walmarts, not all Walmarts are made equal. Um, I had the bag right here, actually, ain't knowing me because I was cleaning up looking for, oh, here it is. I was looking for something earlier and this is what it was. It's a uh, heat and bond. See the heat and bond iron on, come on, fam. Heat and bond iron on vinyl. And this one was a two yard pack. So if you can get this either from uh, Joann's or this one came from Hobby Lobby. So Hobby Lobby has it. Walmart has it. From time to time, they have heat and bond stuff. So check there. Um, but yeah, this is two yards and this one was $9.99 but of course you know we don't play games with Hobby Lobby we wait until there's a sale so yes Andrea Ross it says a new member thank you holler um what time Wednesday we um it depends on what time she gets off from work and when when she has time so not time that's the wrong word when she gets in and gets settled so usually seven ish eight ish something like that on Wednesday evening because, you know, she works for the school and I need to make sure that she is okay because these chats is going to be coming back from school and they're going to be wound up and all excited and all of that jazz and, and for them to come in and decompress and, you know, so we want to give her a little bit of time because it's also her first week back too. Is that the same heat bond we use for applique and embroidery? No, it is not. Um, so this is, let me see, do I don't have, do I have, I think I do have a bag of chips. Hold on y'all. Let's, um, let's move over to the cutting table and see about making, I do have a video on doing, um, the chip bags with the fabric because the video was technically supposed to be, um, the video was supposed to be showing how to make the bag and everything and i didn't get to y'all see my junkie desk uh oh, table rather i got stuff everywhere okay so i do have chips let me go grab it but no i can you know pretty much just verbally explain it too but the um vinyl that we use in embroidery for applique is generally a heat and bond that goes on the back and it stiffens the fabric because it's like a glue and it, it goes on the back and it stiffens it, right? Well, this heat and bond, it goes on top of the fabric, not on the back and it's different. So this just adds a layer of permanent plastic to the front of your fabric. So it ends up being, you know, I don't know why it turns it into why it makes it where the embroidery will stay but it does it, it fixes it so that when you embroider on it and make the bag out of it it doesn't tear up and tear apart and shred and all of that jazz so that's what the that's what the um 
heat and bond vinyl adhesive vinyl is for let me see because i have and y'all look i'm probably gonna have to buy some more because i done took it out the bag as you saw so with me taking it out the bag knowing me i'm not even gonna know that that's what this is when i do find it ain't that crazy i tell y'all getting older is a trip because i got um I do have regular heat and bond, but that's completely different. So, y'all, I'm going to have to find what I did with it. And it's sad. I'm not done with them tips anyway. So, all right. Let me move this so that I can see. Yeah, Cowboys? What, did they win? Uh, I thought I saw another question. Southern Girl Crafts and Creations, you got your stones last week. Holler! <laughs> Congratulations. I got mine yesterday. I can't wait to show y'all my snowman rhinestones template. And when I put it on my husband hoodie, his name is Hustler Man. Oh, I saw that. I saw that because I was like, Hustler Man, what the Hustler Man got to do with the snowman? It was funny. I got tickled and I was like, I'm going to have to ask him. But I never, I ended up doing all kind of other stuff and didn't get the type to ask you what that went, how that coincided together. Hello, everyone. Glad to get my rhinestones a week ago. Love them. Thank you. You got your cricket. Oh, holler, Kevin. Yes, it came. Congratulations. Yay. Holler. Because one thing's for certain, you sure deserve that thing. Will there be a bigger size design for a bigger hoop size? Um, We were going to give the uh, four by four size with the class or with the session but i mean i can link you to a larger one if you needed to i don't know let me talk to patrice about that and see what's going on but generally we we would only do one size generally so um this particular uh hoop design that's on this bag that i just showed you guys it's quilted and the one that I was going to do with Patrice is not quilted. But see, it's got the quilting on it. The stippling. It'd be cool if I could. Y'all look, I painted my nails and the color stained my nails. How crazy is that? But anyways, that's not neither here nor there. Hustler Man is the name of the snowman. Oh, the snowman is Hustler Man. Huh? Hilarious. He did look kind of cross. I'm I'm not going. I was like, why the, why the snowman mad? It was funny, y'all. All right. So, I don't know what we're going to do tonight. I'm still not sure what we're going to do tonight. I could bling something, but are y'all tired? Like, over bling? Trying to put my phone somewhere so it don't fall. Because my phone died when I was at Katrina's house. Because I didn't have a charger. I took my son's car and I didn't have a charger in his car. Hey, Eve and friends, I just got here. Will there be more rhinestone template development classes in the future? The people on Fiverr don't always do it how I want. Um, So we do have one class already on the schedule. That class is going to be on the 15th. Um, the 14th of January is the beginner's class. But if you're trying to learn how to make the template, that's going to be on... Um, that's going to be on... Sunday, the 15th, and that class is already scheduled. It's already on the calendar. Then we'll have another one roughly about a month or so afterwards. I was thinking of putting extra claw on and making a crossbody strap for a grand. Oh, that would be cute. That would be cute. Hey, Taryn, how are you, my dear? Welcome. Taryn sis trunk. So, Let's see. She says she's never tired of blinging. They said they're never tired of blinging. So we'll see about, I don't know, blinging something. Let me get Tilly. Tilly is off. Okay. Tilly was like, I'm out. Um, let's see, said the blind man. Oh, I did tell my dad, you guys, about y'all. I told y'all about it. Blistening. What, what, wait a minute. Blinging and glistening. Blistening told him about that and he was just so tickled that y'all liked his suggestion so I want to pass that on to you so that you will know 
that he was honored that y'all enjoyed his rendition of the bling he came by today to bling a shirt and uh for a family member we were doing um oh you know what i know what i'll do with y'all because i need to finish these otherwise it's gonna drive me insane um but the he made up some great words to bling i know um he said that so the the there's a relative of ours that is part of a team for what is it called um cowboys sorry my brain just that's how how it's been lately with this darn medicine but anyways so the Cowboys team wanted something different other than because all the women wear is just the regular jerseys. And so they wanted something more than just the regular jerseys to wear. And so I was like, OK, well, you know, we could probably do a bling design. So I sat down with Patrice. At, I just realized I signed up for the wrong class. How can I switch it? Um, which class did you sign up for, my dear? Did you ever give your dad his own pace? Did you raise a voice? No, Chris Smith, I didn't. That's funny that you remember that. Um, no, I did not. Which class did you want, my dear? And I will look you up. Well, email me. Email me, um, the baby's booty at Gmail, and let me know what class it is that you need to switch to so that I can, because otherwise I'll probably forget. Ain't no probably. I'll, I'll forget, unfortunately. My memory just ain't what it what it used to be. The old gray goose just ain't what she used to be. Look, so when I press these with that Cricut Easy Press, the stones are starting to come off. So I need to make sure that I press with the heat press and get some good pressure on them. Okay, so that's Sapphire AB. We got Champagne AB. I need to get, let's see, who is this? We did Citrine AB. And then here's Crushed Ice and Crushed Ice AB. That is just nasty. I absolutely love that. Because it's clear. So it takes on the color of the fabric. Which the Sunday. Okay. Um. So, Patri oh, that's right. I was asking, was Patrice in here? Because I sat there. I think it took me right at about an hour and a half. Because I kept trying to change, you know, get things to work just so. I was doing the um, a design for them for their team with their name on it and everything. And this is the part of business that kind of steers me away from doing what I do. This is this is the part that I don't want to say annoys me because that's a strong word, but it discourages me. That's the word I need to use. It discourages me from wanting to do custom work because I went through the trouble, made the design. She loved the design, absolutely loved it. But it's a big blingy design, you know, cause you know how like, uh, not this shirt, but the other one that it, the bling is my thing. And it's a lot, it's the words are big and it takes up a lot of real estate on the shirt. So people love that kind of a design. But then she's like, oh, okay, well, now I made this for free. Didn't charge her to design. And that's probably where I messed. I ain't no probably. That's where I messed up. I should have charged. But I didn't. And um, so I made the design. And then she's like, oh, I love it. But I don't think we'll be able to sell it at that price. Because it, it had 3,600 stones in that design. 3,600 stones is a, a lot of rhinestones and that's the wrong heart that I'm looking at it, I think. Yeah, that's the wrong heart. Um, 3,600 stones is a lot of stones. And if you take the class, we break down for you why we charge certain amounts and how much those amounts are. And so when I gave her the price and she was like, um, I don't know that they'll pay that. Well, I mean, they will if they want to bling hard and if they want their shirts to look that good and you're getting a premium, you're getting premium stones, you know, but you just can't, you can't, some, some 
some people you can't tell them that or you can tell them but they don't care because at the end of the day it's the pocketbook that they're more worried about and guess what that's not your ideal client period but i did it because it was a family member and i was trying to look out for her and you know it was an idea that we that we had thought about and tried to figure out whether or not that was going to work so you know i was like you know it's, it's gonna be all right where is the other half of my heart y'all i don't even know hold on i'm trying to find the other half to my heart so that's where we are right now with that and so just i'm saying all of that to say keep in mind when you're dealing with the rhinestones and people are going to balk in some instances because you do need to charge your worth and you need to charge for your time i mean that's a part of it just like the two hours that i spent today i very easily could have been preparing a little bit better to do a show for y'all because you guys you know are my my little livelihood you know keeping youtube going and keeping you guys engaged i probably got folks that's left out of here they don't want to sit here and watch me babble they want to see something being made and i haven't even gotten to that point yet because i'm telling y'all about that experience but at any rate i could have been doing many other things other than making a template and then to get told oh well we probably won't sell them you ain't even tried you're saying people won't buy it and if they balking at the price well then that's their loss and that's pretty much where i went with it so patrice made a good point today earlier when she was like hey joanna holmes when she was like yeah i'm making these for fun i'm doing it because i want to that makes all the difference in the world because then if somebody doesn't like it it's like okay well whatever it's no big deal i made it because i wanted to this isn't a part of profit but man i was like okay whatever whatever learn me a lesson today y'all i cannot find the other half of this cuss heart because this is that this is a different heart but this is that heart right there i just broke it up now somebody was asking me for this i did put a link to this in the hoop group so if you want the heart shape it's not mine i did not make the heart shape but i did break it up for myself right here and y'all this is okay this is crazy so we just gonna have to do something different because i don't like not having sorry it's been that kind of week weekend you know what i know what i'm finna do Mr. McQuackens is back yonder. And I can't ask him, but I think I'm going to do that because I'm the only one that knows. Isn't that right, Mr. McQuackens? I see him looking down. I don't know what he's doing. He may not be paying me no attention, and then I can get away with it. <laughs> All right, so we brought out a new color, and that's this right here. And I blinged it the other night. It's right here. It's called Violet Volcano. Yeah, the ombre heart is nice. It would be better if I could find the other half of it. I have no clue where it is. The whole studio has been turned upside down for various reasons. But at any rate, so this is, let me back it up. This is Violet Volcano. So for those who may have been looking for a more deeper purple, deeper violet, violet color, this is your Huckleberry right here. And it has a whole lot of other um, hues that go with the purple like right now the way i'm looking at it standing here looking at it it, it doesn't show like this for you guys 
But with the light, with me looking at it, there's a lot of deep, darker violet purple and then more of a bluer shade of purple. But all of like you can see the bluer shade right there. You can. But as you rotate it, it's all beautiful purples. So that's our violet volcano that will be live going live on um january 29th is the start of the next buy-in and so let's see why did he say did he say shaking my head he said shaking my head okay cool that's what i needed to see hold on y'all i'm gonna go grab something kind of all over the place okay sorry about that sorry about that i had to go and um i forgot where i put it i need to where is uh, right here Let me put that right there okay where's patrice it's patrice loves peridot Peridot, right here. Okay, and here's some emeralds. I have emerald in a another container. Usually, when it's family members, they're the ones give you a hard time and want everything from you for free or at a deep discounted price, but they have no problem paying someone else. And there's a lot of truth to that. Um, but so far for myself, I've been I've been pretty fortunate as far as family members that know, I mean, they know what I do and they know a lot of them have experience doing what I do with them. So for instance, the aunties, they come and they help work in the studio. And so they know this, this is some work, putting these orders and filling these orders. They, they already know. Um, and it, it, it gives you a different level of appreciation when you're hands on with something and learn how to do certain things. Can you show the blue zircon heart? Yep, yeah, I can. I just got to find it. You see, it's a lot of hearts. And it's funny, somebody asked me, oh, there's Peridot. Peridot AB. Somebody asked me the other day what, um, how many colors we had and I had to laugh because it's crazy how many colors we got going on. There's Oveen. What did you say? Blue Zircon. Girl, the blue Zircon is pretty. It's green Zircon. 
if I was into that type of work, which I will be in the future, I would charge to pre-make everything and then charge for the actual product. The money has to be paid up front with no refunds. And under normal circumstances, that would be accurate. And that would be, no, that's Capri. Well, let's show that too, because they're similar. Um, but that's how it technically should be. But in some instances, that's easier said than done, unfortunately. Because you got some folks who will tug at your heartstrings. It's very important to charge a setup fee for custom designs. I learned this the hard way. And you would think I would know better. <laughs> Notice what they think. All right. So, Blue Zircon is right here at the top. That's Blue Zircon, even though the camera really is not picking that up. I wonder if it's the, you know what? I think that was the wood doing that. That's crazy. But when I put that down, it sure did better with the color. Oh, well, I know what we can do here. Let's do this. It's all about presentation, all about presentation. And then I'm going to spring something else on y'all. Hold on a sec. Let's do this. I'm going to put a t-shirt, black t-shirt on it so that it'll um, hopefully not distort the color. All right. So Blue Zircon, much better. That's crazy how that did that, y'all. That's crazy. All right. So there's Blue Zircon. And then in comparison, here is Capri, which you see there is a deeper blue much deeper blue blue zircon is more like the ocean blue and then here's aquamarine which is a much lighter i think blue zircon honestly but it's aquamarine and then here's green zircon so of course as you see more hints of green in that than in the blue zircon so there's your blues. Let's see the blues. And then if I had sapphire, but y'all know what sapphire looks like. Sapphire is much deeper. Much, much, much deeper blue. But yeah, the zircons, this is um like a Panthers color blue. If you're into the sports thing, it's more like the Panthers or Ocean. This will be a great color for spring. All of these blues actually coming up for the spring season. All of these would be gorgeous. And the green zircon actually would be too. Cobalt. No, there is no cobalt in our quality. In order to get cobalt, it has to be a lower quality stone. And I'm I it did not bling like the rest of our stones. So I I sent it to Goodwill, honestly. Got rid of it. I'm not going to keep it if, if it's not up to standards. So, I mean, because I don't want to send, sell something to you guys that I wouldn't want my customers. You know what I'm saying? This, this, these stones, when you put them on a shirt, they're blinding. That cobalt was not, it was such a, dis I was heartbroken and I was warned. The manufacturer was like, yeah, no, we don't do cobalt in, you know, I don't know why they don't, but they don't do cobalt in that version of the stone. And so I will say it. But I just had to be sad, unfortunately. So, yeah, here's our. Uh, I wish I could. It would be cool if I could cover up those things and say, OK, now, which colors, which you get a duck book if you can figure it out. <laughs> that sounds like a fun game one day. So yeah, with our greens, you got the springtime coming up, right? And so we definitely want to be ready for the night, Lena Doyle. I used the blue zircon for teal awareness ribbon. Turned out so pretty. Yeah, the teal awareness is nice. Is Patrice in here? So with the um, 
different colors coming out. We're we're thinking forward to the springtime. And so we've got, you know, some colors to look at. So of course there's emerald, emerald green, absolutely beautiful. We can't wait to use that. Um, better to be sad than disappointed in a lower quality. Yeah, no, I wasn't feeling it, um, Sheila. Now, the olivine is more of a military green, in my opinion. You could use it for the spring. Both of these, technically, you could use it for the spring, like the grass and, you know, bunny rabbits and stuff like that. This is Peridot AV, and this is Peridot. Peridot AV, of course, has the AV coating where it gives some other colors. And good night, Victoria's Creations. And then this is more of a springish green. But we have a new green that even Patrice doesn't know about. <laughs> and that's saying a lot because I tell her just about everything with a great self. Um, so we have another green. And if you are um a Bible reader. Then the name of this stone is called chrysolite. I'm really wanting to get started with blinging. What would some stone colors you would recommend getting to start out? Tasha G. Um, a lot of that depends on what you are, what market you're targeting targeting. Like, for instance, I would definitely suggest um, like for instance, if you have children in a <laughs> Yeah, Marilyn, my bad. Um, if you have children in a certain school district, right, and you wanted to target, you know, the go to the PTA, blinged out. Um, oh, that's why, y'all. Sorry, microphone was all the heck way over here. Um, you could go bling out the PTA, but what are the colors for your kids' school or grandkids' school? What's your local, you know, festivities? But if you don't have anything like that and you're just wanting to start just to try it out and see how it goes, basic colors, you can never go wrong with basic colors. Your red, your green, blue, yellow, uh, black, like that. And we have a um, product that we sell in the buy-in um, that you can get and it's called the Ice Chipper. And the Ice Chipper has eight different colors in it. So you can choose what eight colors you want. Um, this particular ice chipper has um, citrine, citrine AB, emerald, emerald AB, champagne, champagne AB, aquamarine, and aquamarine AB. So if you wanted to try the primary color with the AB color, this would be a nice way to introduce yourself to the AB colors and their primary color that matches. But um, you very well could just do yellow, red, blue, green, orange, black, crystal, and crystal AB or something like that. Um, so your basic colors would work really well in an ice chipper. Or if you can't swing the ice chipper, we also have the ice pick, which is half the size. It's five chips. Um, not half the size, a little over half the size. It's five chips in that, and it's a smaller container, um, and it holds five of these ice chips in it. Um, but yeah, th that's an option as well. I knew you had more colors. Friday, you said you have 66 more than what's online. <laughs> yeah, so this one is called Crystal Light. And as you see, it's a very, very light green very very light green and look at the bling in that y'all look at the look at the bling look at the bling in that right there it's insane so the harder it blings the more excited i am to give it to you guys and let you see it so this one will be live on the 29th as well and again, this is called Crystal Light. Um, it's a very high re light refracting stone. Um, so we're going to go ahead and bling with that. And let you guys see it on a swatch. Because I haven't even put it on a swatch yet. 
and you can see just how blingy it is. What did he say? Bling and flash, how blashing it is. Just that quick brushing it into this heart template. Look at that. Just that quick, all of them. So for this little baby one right here, it's called chrysolite. Chrysolite. C H R Y S O L I T E. And it's biblical. Actually, it's a biblical color of a gemstone. Uh, for those who may not be aware, it is. It was the color um, that the chariot is made out of. But at any rate, not everybody reads the Bible. So here is chrysolite. And when I tell you it is beautiful, I'm surprised Patrice has not come track me down just yet. Because y'all know green. Patrice does love her peridot. And this is a greenish color. Not, not quite peridot, but you'll see that here in a moment once we put it on the swatch. And then press it to the fabric. Patrice says she wants it. <laughs> Crystal light. Yes. Yes. So this is a new color. And uh, didn't get to tell Patrice nor Mary. I didn't tell anybody about it, actually. So I'm thanking Mr. McQuackens for letting me show it to y'all. As y'all know, he he handles most of the stuff in the background for what we gonna do and what we not gonna do so he let me show it he had pity on me this week because this week this weekend was a tough weekend y'all i stayed in the bed most of, i kid you not all i could do is just sleep sleep the dramamine off sleep the dizziness off and try not to turn over in the bed and that's sad because one of the things that I do because of the daggum, uh, what's the name of this crap I have? Ooh, that light um, rose would look real good with that crystal light. Uh, menopause. The, it just, you you got the turn flip like a flipping rotisserie chicken because you get so hot at night. When I'm hot in the back, then I get hot in the front. And I have to flip, 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 flip. So when I'm flipping back and forth, the vertigo does not like that at all vertigo is like i told you stay still and then it's like and you flipping spinning sorry and it's like oh my god I'm trying to keep from throwing up all right so let's press this so that you can see it one of these days i'm gonna get a better um swatch because i just cut this fabric out by hand normally i um <laughs> Normally, I cut it with the rolly cutter and make sure it's good and straight. I grouped my primary colors with their companion AB stones. That's what I did with the empty ice pick boxes I bought. Oh, nice. I bet that did turn out cute. All right. So let's put this right here. I'm going to bring it over. And when you press your stones, it's better to peel them hot. Because that keeps your, this glue kind of softens with the heat. The longer you let it cool off, the stickier it becomes all over again. So you want the, it's cool how it works. So this softens just enough to let this peel off without taking off the stones. And then when it cools off, it goes back to being super sticky again. So that's why you peel it hot. But Look at that. That's that. Oh, let me not get too close. That's the crystal light. And this is Peridot AB. So it's almost like the Peridot AB has some crystal light coloring to it. But this is Peridot. So you can see the greens are different. It's a much, much lighter green. So this is a great color for springtime. When you don't want to be quite as green, you want to be a little bit lighter. And y'all, I'm serious. The bling on this, I just, I can't even, but y'all know that anyway. I tell y'all all the time. 
seeing it on camera versus seeing it in person is two totally different experiences. Totally, totally different. So I can sit here and tell you how pretty it is all day long, but until you see it in person, it's just not going to do justice. So this is another new color coming out. So this is our, um, let me press this because I don't like wrinkled samples. So we've got, so far, we've got chrysolite, violet volcano, and the month has only just begun. It has only just begun. There's the violet volcano. Oh, that's pretty together. That's actually really pretty together. Look at my fat good. But anyways, so yeah, we got um some really pretty colors. We've got more colors um, that we're going to experiment with as time goes on. But I definitely wanted to show that since Mr. McQuackens had pity on me. Look at look at that Peridot AB, y'all. Look, look at it. Look at it, y'all. Sitting up here looking like disco lights. All of them, really. What other supplies are needed and where to buy for beginners class besides rhinestone, flock, and transfer tape? Um, so the other supplies would be a brush. And there's a couple of different brushes you can get. Um, so there's like this one I think came from Walmart and this one came from Lowe's. So you go into the paint department and look for paint touch up pads. So you can use these. There's also a bigger one, which normally I have one in here, but for the life of me, I've been looking for it for the last week and some, and I, I can't figure out where I don't put that paint pad, but there's a bigger one. And that's the one I prefer to use than these little ones. That's just me. Um, because that's all, that's how I started was with that. Then you don't have to have it, but it's helpful to have a scoop to pick up the rhinestones with. So actually let's grab this as well. So that you can see that, let me go over here and get this other kind of scoop too. There's a couple of different scoops you can get. Um, a lot of it is what can you find. So like here's a paint scraping tool. I've used this as a scoop before. So like, for instance, when you're, you're finished working with your stones and your stones are brushed all over the place, you can easily scoop them up into, you know, this and put them back in your container. Boop, boop, boop. Just like so. Um, the other kind, which of course, like I said, I got a mess going on over here. It's a metal scoop that I got from, it's a pastry cutter that I got from Dollar Tree. Here it is. Here it is. And my brush is probably over there somewhere too. But here's another one. And I actually like this one because as you pick up your stones with this one, you just tilt it back and the stones fall into the little chamber, into this little tube right here. And then you just pour it over into whatever container. And it's a smaller area, you know, as opposed to this wide opening to pour back into your container. This is smaller, so it'll go into your container better. So this one came from Dollar Tree. All right. And then your other tools um, that are not absolutely necessary, but it's cool to have would be a pickup tool. And that could be um, as simple as this wax pen, another popular one. I don't think I have that type up here, but it has stones in the middle. You can get these off of Amazon and or some plastic tweezers. But if you use a wax pen, you have to be careful with the wax pen because if you touch too hard to the stone, it'll leave wax on the surface of the stone. And then when you go to pick it up with your transfer tape, your transfer tape won't stick to the stone. So you just got to barely, barely touch that stone, just barely. And it will, you know, the wax will pick it up. You may have to try it a couple of times, but it'll pick it up. Okay. 
So those are the things that are needed in rhinestone designs, of course. So emerald was right here. It was on here. Yep, there's emerald right there. Yellow and orange we could use for Cinco de Mayo. Could I see coffee, smoke, topaz, and arm dorado together? So yellow and orange. Okay. So I need to write these on there, but I know what they are. So I'm going to set this off to the side. Surprise, Sheila didn't remind me. You got to write the word on there. All right. So this was green. And let's see. What did you say? Hold on. Let me go back. Smoke. Topaz coffee arm dorado. Okay. Look, I gotta see this together myself. Hold on, because I saw it over there on the thing. Look at that. That's the crystal light, light rose. That's gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay. That's that jet hematite right there, buddy. Okay, so that's arm. Coffee smoke topaz. There's coffee, there's smoke topaz, and then you said yellow and orange. So orange, we got a couple of options. Yellow, we kind of got a couple of options too. So there's citrine. A couple of options that can be used for yellow. That could possibly work, that gold, orange, AB. Um, here's hyacinth and where is sun? Oh, and don't forget the neons for the summertime, but we ain't quite to summer, but just planning ahead. Here's sun. All right. So where was it? It was right here. Hold on. Okay, so starting with the yellows, here's citrine, here's jonquil. Jonquil is a pale, pale yellow, where citrine, as you see, is our strongest yellow. All right, and then... Um, no, Andre, I'm sure more people paid attention to what you were saying. They may just not have mentioned that they paid attention, but I'm sure they paid attention. Um, here is the thing is most instances people don't retain, um, or they'll write it down and go on off and not worry about it. But I did mention in the live, I think yesterday or something that you had put it in there so they can easily go back to Maryland's live and see what you suggested for. Uh, rhinestone flock but here is citrine here's jonquil this is gold orange so it's it reflects a lot of um gold and orange duh so this is a nice one a nice muted one that you could use to fill in for Cinco de Mayo stuff especially if you were to put like some green with that omg all right and then there's hyacinth which is a reddish orange and then sun which is more of an orangey orange, more like a basketball in my opinion. So here's um, three different oranges and two yellows. Now you could possibly even do, um, let's see, John Quill, Citrine. We got neon yellow. Neons would be good for Cinco de Mayo, y'all. Ooh, neons would be good um, because the neon colors are bold, just like the... Uh, holiday celebration that they do. All the colors are super bold. So I think that would work really well as well. That actually is Mardi Gras looking stuff too, y'all. So yeah, we've got quite a few options on that. But then you also asked to see smoked topaz, coffee, and then arum dorado, which this is metallic. These are crystal stones and this is a metallic stone. Hey, CJ Spice. Love it. I need to say Hyacinth is your favorite. Hyacinth is beautiful. Don't forget that awesome volcano. Yeah, we got the violet volcano and we got crystal volcano. 
So hopefully these you're able to, you know, see them and get them because, you know, topaz could go well with this mix, too, if you don't have it already. But I think that's. Topaz is in the bottom somewhere with the T's. But yeah, that coffee. Look at look at the blissing on the coffee. Hey Karen, how are you? Uh, this is another one. Who is this? Oh no, that's citrine A B. Citrine A B you could use too, now that I think about it. And now that I look at it. Here's Crystal Volcano. She mentioned it has um a lot of a light, it's a more golden yellow with some pinks. Um in it. That's pretty crystal volcano. Would you use emerald light cyan? Or is it emerald too dark? Uh I will have to look that up because I don't I don't know. I'll have to look at the flag. Hey, Jennifer Bell, you said top right. Here is smoke topaz. Dottie P. This is smoke topaz. Let me see. Since my phone is back on, because my phone had died. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the new colors. Um, we've been having fun showing them off. Topaz needs to be on here too, actually. Different options of blue. Yes, you can. You need smoke topaz. I need to make a... So I was talking to somebody about making a chart and I need to do that. I started on it and then what happened? Uh, life. Life happened. The buy-in will be uh, January 29th. January the 29th will be the next buy-in. All right, let's go here. Let's go here. No, I should have just did it from right here. Let's see. Flag. Ooh, no, emerald. I would do emerald. Emerald or either, where was that green zircon? Uh, well, emerald is dark, but look, right there it's dark. So I would do, look at that right there, it's kind of dark. I think emerald would rock that really well with the cyan, actually, in my personal opinion. But you could do either one, honestly. Um, what did we say? I said topaz. That's what I said. No, and then she asked about the blues. So let me go through my stack. Well, I did just show these blues. All of these are blue. Blue zircon. So those are the blues right there. We showed that a little while ago, but it's no worries to show it again. All right. So here's aquamarine, capri, blue zircon. Where is Topaz? I need you to see Topaz with those, especially with, uh, here it is, folks doing Black Black mm, Black History Month um, skin tones. These are the skin tones here. These four. Hey, Jocelyn. Your new ice box is, ice box is scheduled to arrive on Monday. Holler! <laughs> Yes, honey. So here are, so this is coffee, smoked topaz, arum dorado, and topaz. These are the skin tones. And champagne is another. Here's champagne. And here's light topaz. So I'm going to cover up crystal volcano. So all of these are the skin tones. All of these are the skin tones. So if you're trying to go for, you know, having a, a palette for people, for skin, coffee, smoke, topaz, um, arum is gold. So don't count that one. 
And then light topaz, topaz, and champagne. I would do light topaz instead of gold, but these are the skin tones here. All right, and so let's go back through our list and grab, because we're missing light sapphire. Now we're going to go back to the blues that she asked for. Then we have Montana which is a navy blue. We also have neon blue, but I pressed it with the Cricut press, so I'm going to have to redo the neon blue. Um, I pressed it while we were up there in the mountains with it. And then sapphire. Let me make sure that's it. Going through them in my head and then sifting through because I remember we didn't have light sapphire and the metallics. We'll go through that here in a sec. I did see your question, so give me one moment and we'll get to that. So we've got light sapphire, baby blue, Montana, which is navy blue, sapphire, which is a true blue, more like a royal blue, actually, in my opinion. Then then we got aquamarine. We got Capri, and then we got Blue Zircon. Oh, Tianda, I'm glad it works out. Yeah, the, the picture does work. It does help. It does help. So these are the blues. Again, Light Sapphire, Montana, Sapphire, Aquamarine, Capri and blue zircon. So those are those colors. That green is sticking out from the stack. Looks like a good color for her. This green right here, is that the one you're talking about? Or are you talking about our new green? This one is chrysolite. We just showed that today. Alrighty, and so our metallic colors, we have Aurum Dorado, we have Labrador, and Jet Hematite. Those are our metallics. Oh, it's gone now? Okay, I'm sorry. Then it, it might have been, um, what is it called? Uh, for the, you Were you talking about, Karen, for the flag? It's, there's Peridot, there's Olivine. Olivine might could work, but it's not like green. It's more of a yellow green. Um, there's the Emerald. And the other one was green zircon, but green zircon has too much blue in it, I think, for the flag. That's green zircon. I think that might be a little bit too much blue in there, but it could work. I don't see why it wouldn't. Green zircon or the olivine. Hey, Carmen Alvarado, welcome. Your favorite group of colors, the 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 metallics. And hematite looking real hematite over here. How much is one full ice box of these beautiful songs? I'm going to buy them again. Please and thank you. Um, Shell, it depends on the stones that you get. So you said a full ice box. I mean, a lot of that, again, it depends on the stone that you get because there are different prices because the different stones, of course, cost different prices for us to source them. So we base the price on how much it is for us to source them. So right now, um, the most of the prices on the website are going to stay the same. There's a couple that may change. But for the most part, you can go on the website now and the prices are all listed, even though it says sold out. But it only says sold out because people wanted to see the colors and shop the colors, you know, even between buy-ins. And if the only way I could leave it up where the colors could be seen what at the time was to 
um I could only leave it up and then just say sold out so that y'all could still see the colors and the listings. So that's why it says that. But you're welcome. You're welcome, Karen D. Green Zircon. Okay. Yeah, I mean, and it could work now that I'm looking at it, but it does have a hint, like slight hint of blue in there, but it could work. Any other color requests you guys have? I did not realize it's 1030 and I wasted, well, technically didn't waste y'all's time, but I didn't make anything other than some crystal light and show y'all some crystal light. But like I said, it's been a tough, it's been a tough weekend for your girl. I promise it was. That crystal light is really pretty. Look, look, look. Some of that don't go together. That look like some, some candy. Jet AB heart, I do. I do, I do. I just passed it earlier. This must be this thing. Yep, there's Jet Black. Let's show Patrice's favorite color. Her favorite, favorite color. So there's Jet Black. There's Black Diamond. And there's Jet AB. So Jet AB, Jet Black, and Black Diamond. And as you can see, you can put Jet Black on a black shirt and you'll still see it. I made a Darth Vader shirt one time and it was just amazing. <laughs> Kevin Moore. Thank you. But yeah, Jet AB, Jet AB is the Jet Black with an AB coating. Yeah, that Black Diamond is amazing. The New Stone, well, we have Chrysolite is a new one. And then Marilyn and Patrice debut the new purple violet volcano. Thank you, T. Johnson. I appreciate that. I need them to... <laughs> I need to be fixed. Okay, so this is a new purple shade. This is Violet Volcano. And it has the deeper purple. Oh my gosh, just the purple in that. You, it, Seeing it on camera just really... I promise. I, but I say that with all of them because it's the truth. You have to see it in person. It just doesn't do it justice to see it on camera. It just doesn't, unfortunately. But, you know. It also adds 50 pounds. As we can see right here. See, look. It adds. It even adds some pounds. So, camera just out here not playing fair. So, here's Tanzanite. It's a purple. Um, nah. Fuchsia is not really purple. It's a pink. But it has a purple hue to it. So we'll throw fuchsia up there just for the heck of it. And then here's our violet ice. Ooh. Wow. Check that out. I don't mean to cover up the new color, but my goodness gracious. Look at that. Violet ice and the crystal light. Look at that. They both. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, I got to make a shirt. Okay. Sorry. Had a moment there. Um, let's see. And then there's amethyst somewhere. Hold on. I have them in order, alphabetical order, and then I get them out of alphabetical order when I show them together. I need to just make a whole collage at some point. Just all oh, amethyst. I don't remember what pile it was in. There's rose, rose, AB, sapphire. Did it? Yep, there it is. Sorry. Here's amethyst. That's a purple as well. So this amethyst is more of a plum color. Amethyst is a plum. Violet ice is a light purple. Tanzanite is more of a 
regular purple, like a lavender, more purple. Fuchsia is pink, but it, it's a purpley pink. So we're going to slide that to the side now. And then now we have Violet Volcano. So Karen Nichols, um, I mean, it is individual, but not individual. I see what you're asking. I apologize. No, that's only in Treasure Trove. I know, right? And we done went dizzy all over again wearing this stuff. Good night, Shell. Thank you. We appreciate you hanging out with us. But yes, yeah, so the tilt the camera towards me. What do you mean tilt it towards me? I can't. Oh, women, man, I can. Hang on, y'all. Let me get the fooling with my equipment here. It's my right here like that. So they can see my gut even more. Tilt the board. Okay, got you. Because I'm like, I don't want them seeing my gut now. Tilt it towards me. Like this. Yes, that's my love shirt from last night. And my gut. Like this. Okay. Mr. McQuackens is, and look at the arm over here just flashing on its own. Like, I want to still be in the spotlight. I want to be in there too. Tion said she just laughed out loud. I know, right? That amethyst is beautiful. Amethyst is a beautiful color now. The buy in will be January 29th. So thank you for asking. Um, but yeah, this is the violet ice. This is the amethyst. This is the tanzanite. And that's our new violet volcano, which I need to write that on there. Let me write that on there. So Sheila don't get me. I can hear Sheila now. You should make a black Velcro board and put Velcro on back of hearts so you can rearrange the square, stick them, peel them, show and tell. I know, right? That's a good idea. Violet Volcano. Ta -da -da. You have been christened. That's pretty, y'all. Ooh, that's pretty. So, yeah. The amethyst is just sparkling. I know, it's over there just telling its own little story. Like, hey, I, I'm purple too. I'm going to have to do get get the rest of them and put them all like you said get us a a board that's made for this but yeah i think we went through every color it is to go through didn't we other than the pinks we didn't get we didn't hit the pinks y'all want to hit the pinks real quick the pinks are expensive the pinks cost the baby's booty a arm and a leg and a thigh to source these pinks are no joke whatsoever. And I cry inside every time I have to order. All right. Because the tariffs are no joke. Look at that. You can tell I was struggling that day. So there's rose, light rose, and fuchsia. Now, I'm sorry. I missed a purple. This is light amethyst. So it's amethyst. But it is um, light amethyst. So, and it is still a plumish color. But you definitely could pass this off for like a muted pink under the right circumstances. So, this is light amethyst that's technically purple as well. So I missed showing that one. I apologize. But like I said, it it, it you could use that. It, it plays both sides of the fence very well. It could be a purple, like a, a plumish lavender, a light plum, or it can be a pink. I think that's all the pinks. Pretty sure that's all the pinks. Well, champagne, technically, it's like a peach, peachish.
So can you repeat the names of all the new colors? Right now we have Violet Volcano, which is right here. This is Violet Volcano. And then we have Chrysolite. And Chrysolite is this beautiful green. I notice your pinks are much cheaper and bling a whole lot more than other distributors. Well, um, I appreciate you saying that. And we definitely do try to source affordably, which is the point of the buy-in, you know, is to the only reason the buy-in works so well is because of y'all. If, if y'all didn't want the stones and we all buy together, I couldn't get them at the prices that I get them, you know, cause when I was buying them by myself, <laughs> A heifer was in pain every time her pocketbook was crying. So I was like, I mean, what better way to source something than to source it all together? That's, that's the thing. If we work together, we can accomplish a lot, period, with anything we do. So when we work together with our lives and like Patrice and Marilyn and Uni and, you know, even, you know, with Dimps and all of the other folks in here who have channels and they're teaching. When we teach together, you can't go, you, you can't not learn. You got Delanda, you got Katrina, you got, you see what I'm saying? So even if I don't hit something, somebody else will. So we're working together. And the same goes with sourcing materials. You know, when we, there's a lot of groups that do buy-ins for sublimation stuff um to help lower the cost of sublimation thing you know so that's it, it just made sense and when you source good quality stuff because we're businesses it doesn't make sense for me to source some sublimation stuff that's just trash and you sublimate it and it washes off later and all, yeah y'all would be upset and your customer would be upset then y'all be mad at me so that's the whole we we looked I searched high and low for the best that I could find at the best price I could find. And then once I found the best price, I asked, look, so if I buy this much, <laughs> you know, can you hook a heifer up? And he, he said, yes, and I bet. Let's go. Let me see how many people jump on board with me. And it just, it really worked out. And I'm grateful to all of y'all because this helps me get my stones as well. At a really good price. So we're just trying to help businesses. That's all. I swear that's all. Because we are all in this together. And one thing's for certain. We can make it work. We can make the money for those who want to make the money and for those that don't, this is a, a good opportunity as crafters for crafters to unite together to help each other for a common goal. And that's to get some good quality stones at an affordable price that we can play with. Yay. Will I be able to purchase on the 29th? Yes. Jacqueline Smith, you definitely will be able to purchase on the 29th. Yep. 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 That is the beginning of the buy-in. And I cannot wait because there's some changes. <laughs> and I'm excited for it. And it's killing me to not go into it. So, but in time, good people, in time. So we've colored, covered all the colors. We've colored, covered all of the colors. And like I said, this is the new... Um, Violet Volcano. This is the new Crystal Light. Let me write that on there so that we'll already have it. C-H-R-Y-S-O-L-I-T-E. That's Crystal Light. And then whoever they are hoping they get well soon. Yes, hopefully everybody, if you're sick, please get better. Because Lord knows I wouldn't wish Virgo on anybody i don't care who it is i would not wish it on anybody because that's tragic so who wants to come and help put these back in alphabetical <laughs> who wants to come help at least i'm decent with the alphabet it's not math so you guys thank you for hanging out with me and the new colors 
a crystal light in our violet volcano. This is champagne. This goes before fuchsia and after arm. I'll finish these up. But yeah, y'all, this, this crystal light was really pretty. I'm excited to see all the spring, springy designs you guys use with it. Baby showers. That's the baby shower color. You know, they like them light uh, colors. Three weeks till the biome. <laughs> it's torture. It's torture for me, too. I promise it is because I've been ready to order. I've been ready to order. So I'm excited. I wish I had the funds to help buy a whole lot more. But take your time. Take your time. Don't definitely. Hey, Regine. Oh, my gosh. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for coming and hanging out briefly. Hug my babies for me. Um, but yeah, you guys, this is this is going to be really pretty. I'm excited to see what y'all do with this crystal light and the violet volcano. That's going to be stunning as well. I know you would, Miss Beckham. Maybe group them in rainbow color order. Easy for showing compare. That's a smart idea. But the problem is usually I still wind up looking anyway. I still wind up looking because and then because some of the colors kind of like cross fade into others like that, like amethyst and how it could be pink or purple. You know, I have the small of the bunch in my hands now. Oh, give him a squeeze for me. He has cute cheeks. He's got some cute cheeks. Looking like his daddy. Child, don't it make you mad when you carry a kid for nine months and they come out looking just like they did to be like, darn it. <laughs> all right you guys i'm gonna switch cameras and then show y'all this bling in the in the proper light because over there under the thing it works but oh no that's the wrong thing over there it works but it's just not the same because i just it's funny to me how well these colors look in the dark right i mean it's just like boom you know, in your face, bling. This is the Violet Volcano. All right. So the Violet Volcano just shimmers and shines and shows off those purples that are just hard to mistake. Look, look, look at this. Look, so come look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at that purple. Good gracious of life. So if you wanted a darker purple, Here's your huckleberry. Here's your huckleberry. Put a chalk number in the top left corner after you alphabetize them. Easy to put back in order. That's smart. Because, yeah, it's going to be... I got to add these in, too. And then this is chrysolite. And as I mentioned, you know, for those who might be curious, get your online Bible and type in chrysolite. And it is in the Bible. It's a biblical gemstone. Beautiful, beautiful. This crystal light blings hard. The, ca the camera wanting to bling it the right way. Y'all saw that, right? Y'all see that? Even the camera is like, we gotta, we gotta bling it to them the right way. I know, camera. I know. I know. Don't. It's all right, camera. It's all right. They gotta, honestly, camera. They gotta see it for themselves. They gotta get it in their hands and look at it and then they'll be able to tell but for right now they just they got to they got to do your version and it's okay you working real hard to get it right so yes violet volcano no tell him the c tens and the violet volcano we gotta tim come hang out come hang out tim come hang out we'll get you right me you and mr mcquackens we're gonna leave marilyn at home because she already know everything me, you, and Mr. Mr. McQuackens is going to sit down and we're going to go over these colors and stones and sizes and stuff. And you're going to be pro just like us. You will. You'll be able to run circles around Patrice by the time we're done with you. I promise. I promise you will. So, yes, you did a design with mixed stones, Eve. Thanks to your mishap that inspired my creativity. And I need lots of help when it comes to creativity. I mixed five stone colors and it came out pretty good. Nice. I still have some of that um, neon mix that I made that I don't. It was okay. It was okay. But after I saw it, I was like, I don't really like this. I still have that. He heard you say Tim and he thought it was me saying his name. Hilarious. 
I know, right? Me and Marilyn's about to be twins. We keep it up. We're about to be twins. Mm -hmm. Yes, we is. I'm glad you have that color because I purchased the Violet Volcano and cried for 20 shirts. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't cry. Setting up your soul grass. Ah! Is it new? You just got it. Congratulations, Teresa, sister, heart crafts and things. HBCU Babies Boutique, Wendy Cutting says, all signed up for the beginner's class. Saw you on Katrina's live. Thank you for showing how sisters helped. Oh, for sure. For sure. I mean, what good is knowledge if you keep it to yourself? Okay. Okay. And what sense does it make to know how to do all of this stuff? And I help each other. That's the whole point in me having this channel is to be helpful. And if I can't help a fellow crafter, what good am I? Okay. I'm here. I'm here to help. I don't want you struggling. So I'm here to say, this is how I've struggled in the past. This is how I learned the right way to do it. Whether somebody taught me or not, I'll let you know, hey, I learned this from blah, 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 blah. OK, so that you can learn and understand that I'm not just out here saying I know everything because I don't. OK, but I am here to help. And even if that means a fellow crafter, as long as they're willing for me to help, I'm here and I accept help from them. Patrice taught me how to make rhinestone designs. <laughs> I didn't know how to. I, I struggled and I was like, I will never make them. I'll just have to pay other people to make them. And I would be broke trying to pay other people to make my designs. And Patrice was like, oh, Evie. And she showed me how to do it. Patrice is a member for 12 months. What? Talk about her. Ah! Oh, Wait a minute. Is that the one I was talking about? I don't want to ring thinking the wrong Patrice and it's the wrong Patrice. Whichever way. Patrice, congratulations. Holler. <laughs> Holler. Congratulations. Congratulations. She know nothing. Whatever. That's why she's a teacher. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we appreciate you guys. And like I said, if you are interested in learning more about rhinestones and how to do rhinestones, there is a class coming up next Saturday on the 14th. Um, the, it's on the website. It is up and ready to go. I can drop it in the chat. Um, I'm the same way about the web business edition for months. And don't give up. Oh no, don't give up. We got this. Matter of fact, Patrice's class, I had to rewatch it today. One of the classes we took just to make sure I was doing things right. Cause it was making me upset. And, uh, .com. Come on, fam. Spell. There you go. Okay. So the link is in the chat for all the classes. So like I said, the beginner's class is going to be on um, the 14th, the advanced class, which teaches you how to create rhinestone templates, your own designs, not templates, but designs, your own rhinestone designs. That class is on the 15th. That one is going to be taught by Patrice. The, uh, and there's a business aspect to it at the end that I'll teach. So we're co-teaching that class, even though she's teaching most of it. I'm just, you know, anyway. And then the beginner's class, I'm teaching that one. And that just teaches you the basics of rhinestoning, how to take pre-made designs and, and cut templates out of them with your Cricut or with your silhouette or with your brother's scanning cut, no matter what cutter you have. We go into all of those basics and simplify it for you so that you understand everything about rhinestone. So that when you go to sell your rhinestone designs and shirts and stuff to your customers, you'll know what you're talking about and you'll know how to price them. OK, um, then we have JLC Custom Creations, who's been a member for a month. Congratulations. Holler. <laughs> Where would I be without Mr. McClackens? I'm just saying. So you guys, if you are interested in the class, it is in the uh, comment section. I have not put up a description, y'all, because I was running back into the house from Katrina's. So Karen Nichols, congratulations. Welcome. Holler. <laughs> yes. Will the class teaching how to make your templates be done only for the Cricut program? No. 
So Quilting Sister, as long as you know how to use your program, the basics of your program, we teach you the basics of how to put it into any one of your programs. So we turn it into an SVG and then you will upload it into whatever program it is that you use and you would know or need to know how to resize and how to determine the size and all of that jazz. Once, if you can figure, if you know that much, then you're fine. Uh, but you do need to know how to bring in an SVG and you need to know how to resize it. I don't care what program you use. Yes, I do know how to do it with Cricut because that's all I've ever used. And I just learned how to do it with the silhouette. But if you have, um, I don't know what program goes with the graph tech, but whatever program goes with the graph tech, um, if you have the uh, Juliet, if you have the scanning cut, because the scanning cut I had didn't, it didn't mesh well with me. So I got rid of it. So I don't know how to use the brother um, canvas, but any cutter, whatever cutter it is that you have, as long as you know how to bring in an SVG and change the size and make the size what you needed to be, you're good. Everything else goes, everything else matches all across the board. Everything that we're going to be teaching in that beginner's class. So we will also go into how to, um, because I didn't realize how much it was needed, but like if you find a designer whose designs are not compatible, easily compatible with the Cricut, we go into showing you how to translate that as well. So Cutting Master, okay. I, if you, you got to know how to use Cutting Master and bring in an SVG and a Cutting Master and resize it. Thank you for letting me know because I had no clue. <laughs> no clue what program came with that. So yeah, you you need to know that much, but everything else we, we cover. Okay. All right, you guys, my clock is showing 11, even though nine times out of 10, my clock is slow for some God forsaken reason. I don't know why, but I enjoy hanging out with you guys next time. As long as I'm not still fighting this vertigo, we will have more content. Oh, and Wednesday, we will have the in the hoop um, potato chip bag class um, on Zoom live. And I done left it over there. Um, so please be sure to keep an eye out on the community section here on my channel, the community section on Patrice's channel. If you are a member here, a YouTube Hoop group member, which means a paid member on our channel, you'll have access to the link to get into the class and join us for the stitch along on the embroidery machine. And yes, it will include four by four design. Okay. So even if you have a four by four, you're more than welcome to come and stitch along with us. Okay. So I enjoy having you guys here. Um, like I said, the Zoom will be on. That's funny. She says centralize me. <laughs> the Zoom will be on uh, Wednesday evening. So I, I'll have to confirm with Patrice somewhere between 730 and 8 o'clock is what we're looking at. All right. So that we can get y'all on and get y'all off and I have y'all hostage all night. So at any rate, we appreciate y'all hanging out with us. And I'm going to let Mr. McQuackens take y'all out with some sensualization. And I look forward to y'all joining us on the 29th with the next buy-in. But until then, we'll see you next time. And happy blinging. Bye. How would you define luxury? Your purchase of our rhinestones has put extravagance right at your fingertips. Here at the Baby's Booty, we are taking the standard of luxury and bringing it directly to you. Introducing the perfect companion to your Lux rhinestones, the Baby's Booty Ice Boxes. Our ice boxes are in the perfect sizes to complement your order. Each color in your purchase will be labeled and packaged in these elegant acrylic boxes ready to display your luxury stones for everyone to see. The Baby's Booty Ice Box, where our bling is the finer thing.